In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to shape your walls so you can put a roof on top. This is a single story house. If you have a two story house, you would do this to your top story, not your ground floor. Your ground floor would remain exactly as it is now. So the first thing I want to do is just zoom in a little closer on this wall and clean up some of these areas along here. So I want to be able to pull this whole wall up in one run. So I'm going to delete this little mark here and I need an extra mark in here. I deleted one that I'd applied earlier so that needs to come from that end point just to there. So that means if we pan along the wall, that wall is one long extension. Okay, the wall is already three meters tall. I'd like it to increase by two meters. So I'm going to pull it up two meters. I'm then going to put a guideline one meter down from the top. And I'm now going to orbit through here. And I also need to add in a little mark here and delete the other one so that the front wall so that the front wall is now one piece. So if I orbit a little more, you can see I have my guideline here. Now I want to draw a pencil line from the end point. Sorry, from the end point near the guideline or the intersection down to the end point here. And it makes a triangle shape. Orbit that around. Zoom in on it and center it and use the push pull tool to pull that so it's on the edge. So you should have a panel now that shows your house and the roof will go straight back from there. I'm going to put some windows up here but I'm also going to do some tidying up just here. So what I'd like to try and do now is delete some of these extra lines I have. So using the eraser tool I'm going to delete this line here this line here and this line here. So now when I zoom out you can see it's just one piece and when I come to apply a render to it it will be much neater. It's worthwhile zooming right in just to check to see if there's any other smaller details that have been left behind like that piece there. Okay I'm going to orbit around now. I want to do exactly the same thing on this wall here. So I'm having this skillion roof on the front section of the house. At the back of the house I'm having a flat roof. So I'm going to zoom in again. I need to apply some extra pencil lines from the end point to the edge and from the end point to the edge. Zoom in again. I'm going to delete this one here. Pan over. That looks fine. All right, zoom out using the pencil tool. On the intersection, bring it down to the end point. It'll create a triangle. Orbit around. Use the push pull tool. And then you can delete some of your lines. So using the eraser tool, I'm going to delete this line here and this line here orbit around and I want to delete this line here. I'm going to zoom in really closely and pan in a bit. Um, this one I'm going to keep. That looks fine. Just check it's the same at the other end. Yeah, that looks good. So I should be able to apply a roof to that shortly but I've got other things I need to do before I put the roof on.
so now if I orbit I can see that side of the house very nicely fills in all those ribs for the roof to sit on um, I can if I want to pull some of these other walls up as well so that they're the same height this one up as well now this one I'm going to trim with a pencil tool I'm going to go from the end point here to the end point here then use the push pull tool to push through and that's much neater now so I have the low level roof on this side and on the other side I'm going to do a high level roof using exactly the same principles but this is my highest point up here so I've orbited my house around to see the other side and I'm going to do a similar thing on the other side of the roof or the other side of the house to pull the walls up but uh, not as high, sorry, to a different height. So when adding these extra lines in it's always a good idea to start from the junction and work outwards and then delete that little bit there. We'll move along to the next one, do the same thing. junction to there and then delete the other intersection okay so I'm going to zoom out so on the other side of the house the roof line goes from this highest point down to here so using the pencil tool again I'm going to draw from here and then I want to come straight up from this end point here to intersect with the line and it should make a triangle with my line here that it has because the roof is going to be flat at this end of the house I need to also draw a line that goes from this end point to there and you can see it fills in very nicely that shape all the way across there so this will give me my area for my flat roof so I'm going to orbit around delete this extra construction line use the push pull tool and pull that to there I'm going to do similar things to these lines along here but I'm going to pull this wall up first to be the same height as this wall here so using my pan tool and zooming out a bit I just want to check that this wall is all one long section so starting on the corner here push pull tool select the top of that wall and pull it up until it's the same height as the edge there zoom out a little bit orbit a little bit at the moment we're just going to leave that as it is and orbit the whole thing back again so if you sit it like this it gives you a good sense of what the roof's going to look like and then I need to put some windows along here
you can space them more evenly mine are quite irregular because I did them in a hurry I'll probably go back and redo those but that's how you um, prep all your walls ready for your roof to go on at a later date make sure you save